Hello everyone, I'm Jess with Black Travelers Network. We provide trips that focus on the Black experience in different parts of the world, but we also cover news that impacts the African diaspora. Before we get into today's topic, I just want to say that our latest publication, Out of Service, is available on the website. This is a 26-page publication of simple money-making business ideas you can offer in this environment. We also have the online workshop, How to Make Money in the COVID Era. Again, you can find these on blacktravelersnetwork.com in our online store. During the global pandemic, those of us in the United States and other countries with high coronavirus infection rates and deaths we found that some countries have banned us from entering. Places like the European Union and the Bahamas have closed their doors to US citizens. However, if you are a US citizen and you love to travel and you also have another passport from a different country, you may not necessarily be subject to the same travel bans and restrictions that those of us who only hold a US passport are subject to. There's been a dialogue happening in Black America for quite some time regarding dual citizenship. There are a number of people who would like to obtain another citizenship in addition to their existing citizenship. It amazes me that a lot of people don't know this, but adding an additional citizenship from another country has always been attainable. It's just gonna cost you. Some countries are more friendly than other countries, but you can obtain citizenship in a number of countries for either the right price, or if you have the right relationships, or if the right people deem that you can add value to that country in some kind of way. In the Caribbean, this has certainly been the case for a number of the islands like St. Kitts and Nevis, Dominica, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Lucia, and Grenada. These islands were the first who launched a citizenship by investment program over 30 years ago. Here's why you might want to consider a dual nationality. A second passport can be a good solution when you travel because it gives you visa-free or visa-on-arrival entry to many countries. Another advantage of obtaining second citizenship by investment is favorable taxation practices in such jurisdictions. It can be beneficial both for you, your personal finances, and if you have an international company that is registered but not operating in that particular country. And the third reason of investing in dual nationality is having a backup plan for you and your family if something were to go wrong in your existing home country. Small island states in the Caribbean are in need of financial foreign investments. Therefore, they offer much better terms and conditions for foreign investors to become citizens. I know some of you are likely wondering, well, how much does it cost? Well, the minimum investment amount starts around $100,000. It depends on the island. And the other benefit is the naturalization process tends to be much faster. And so when we talk about naturalization, naturalization is the process by which Caribbean citizenship is granted to a foreign citizen or a national after he or she fulfills the requirements established by the nation. Naturalization in the Caribbean typically can happen in less than six months and you don't have to fly to the other end of the world. You can oftentimes achieve this second passport from the comfort of your own home. Since gaining independence, governments of the island states have been doing the best to build connections with the rest of the world. Their efforts guarantee Caribbean passport holders free entry into as many as 130 to 150 countries around the world, including the EU and the UK. And again, I can't emphasize enough the main reason why many people explore this as an option is the tax benefit. You might want to become a tax resident in the Caribbean if you don't necessarily want to pay income tax on your foreign income. A few other taxes are also charged 
at 0% and some are very low. When it comes to international companies, the corporate tax rate on revenues received by a company outside the country of registration is typically 0% on most of the islands. The coronavirus pandemic has caused a significant decrease in tourism, and many of these Caribbean nations plan to supplement the revenue by selling their citizenship. These islands have all updated the cost of their passports. A family of four can obtain St. Kitts and Nevis passports with a $150,000 contribution to the country's sustainable growth fund. That is a $45,000 discount at this particular point in time. St. Kitts and Nevis launched the world's first citizenship by investment program in 1989. They are leading the pack with the discounted citizenship to generate income. It's important now that we look at our economic citizen base and, and, um, and engage them, be it in St. Kitts and Nevis and in other islands, to invest in the islands beyond the real estate or the contribution that they have. You know, come to the Caribbean, um, invest in the Caribbean, get involved in your second country. Thank you guys so much for listening and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.